Okay, we are going to learn about SIR model. I'm going to use the GeoGebra and then we are going to create an applet like this. So enjoy watch. To my channel Kaji Data Online. Okay, this uh, evening I would like to explain and share with you about uh, susceptible infection and recovery model, SIR model. Eh? Previously, I already published a video related to the SIR model using the Jupyter Notebook. So this evening, I would like to explain the similar idea, however, using much more uh, less coding writing mechanism, we call it as GeoGebra. GeoGebra is a free software that available for you that you can install in your PC or in your Mac. Okay. So the first of all, after you open the Jujitsu, Selamat datang ke channel saya, Kaji Data Online. Please don't forget to subscribe, like and share all our videos. We provide a very comprehensive online courses free of charge. Nonton semua video kami sehingga akhir pembelajaran secara penuh. Go into the graphic menu and setting so that you can focus more towards our objective today. Okay. So our objective is we want to make the SIR model as I mentioned to you. Um, and then I'm going to explain everything in the conditions of uh, 0 to 1. Uh, 0 to 1 means that we are talking about the proportionate uh, element of the data. And then we are going to explain it in the 30 days. 30 days means that one month. Uh, two uh, consecutive period of, uh, we call it as uh, two consecutive period for any, um, we call it as the incubation period. Eh? All right. So we got here 1.5 and then we we set here 1.5 everything looks fine and then we lock it so that it's not go anywhere all right so it's setting up already okay so the first of all we have to write our formula all right so the first one we write here and oh before that let me uh, remove the grid and because sometimes the grids make you feel so mathematics okay n is equal to one which is we talk about a proportionate of a population and then we start begin with our first one we call it as the i or no s start s t e r t s start is equal to 0 0.99 this is just an example we have the starting point of 99 individuals who are susceptible we have uh I start is equal to 0 0.1. We got, uh, sorry, 0 0.01. This is the uh, initial or uh, infection, uh, initial infection rate, which is 0 0.01. And then the next one, we have the recovery. Our start is equal to 0. Nobody recovered in the first place. Okay. Okay. So the second part is actually you have to specify your coefficient your transmission coefficients and your recovery coefficients. So to do that, I would like to use a slider here. So just click a slider and then rename your slider accordingly. Just put here trans, trans M. Trans M means that transmissions. So our transmission will start from 0 to 10 and then the increment will be around 0 0.01. Okay, this is our transmission uh, equation that we are going to set it up after this. So you can also put another slider down here. We call it as a recoff. Recoff means that recovery, recovery coefficients. Also, we can set it up here with the increment much, much more lesser because usually uh, people recover uh, quite sometimes as compared to transmit uh, very uh, rapidly. We have to okay. specify the next one, which is the time. So the time also, I'm going to use the slider here. So the time is also is very important in this uh, analysis. So we will specify zero until 30 because we are estimating 30 days with no increment, right? So this is our time. Okay, finish. So the next one. Okay, so the equation will be right as follow. So the first one is as not open bracket T comma S comma I comma R is equal to minus minus those susceptible okay minus um, minus the transmissions trans m times by s time by i this is the formula that indicated as the minus beta si 
Okay, that is the first equation for the S0. And then another one will be I0. I0 is the infections, um, infection rate for the uh, data T, comma S, comma I, comma R is equal to um, transmission coefficient, trans M, times by S, times by I, minus the recovery coefficient, which is the recov times by i okay and then the next one will be the r not is equal to t minus s minus uh, sorry comma i comma r okay is equal to recovery coefficient times by the infection okay so now we already done the computational um computational uh, element of the data so we next have one that you have to do okay you can move the time um, up here also can one minute okay then with another one we call it as a um, ordinal differential equation so we are going to use the n dissolve and solve okay and solve so we have to specify our list of uh, derivative so our list will be s uh, not comma i not comma r not okay and then the initial coordinate will be zero the initial y coordinate which is the first one will be the s start comma i start comma and also r start okay and then the final coordinate will be the max t which is our time and then we can enter so if you move this one, you can see that uh, this is the example of how the disease being transmitted. You can see this is our graph that will be generated by this um, computational element. However, it's very hard for us to identify what is numeric integral and so on. Therefore, we have to rename it. So to rename it, you can just right click over here and then go to the rename and we call it as S and don't forget to color it differently. So that we can understand this is a susceptible group. The next one will be the I, which is the infected group. So the infected group, I would like to color it in the red color. The last one but not least is the R group, the recovery or remove group. I'm going to color it using the green color. So if you can see here, when we move around the labels here, Okay, you can just uh, specify the level accordingly so that it's make nicer and more understanding. And the next step that I'm going to, to do is actually we are going to make some animations. Okay, some animation and some manipulation of the, um, we call it as a coefficient, no coefficient, the proportions of the people who are getting infected or not. Okay, so to do that, I'm going to use the next one, we call it as the input box. Okay, the input box, the first one, we call it as susceptible. So, susceptible will be linked into the R start. Okay, this is where you will use this applet or after this software to uh, make some manipulation. Okay, so the next one will be the infection. So, the link object will be the I start. Okay, and then the last but not least is our data regarding the recovery recovery okay recovery recovery okay so i'm going to use it as the r start okay finished so after you do this then it's finished already so our data is uh, now available to be uh, executed you can just um, adjust your alpha and beta uh, sorry beta and gamma and also you can see the time taken into influencing the whole populations to be infected okay uh, to make the interpretation i'm going to produce another video okay to make much more interesting about our analysis i would like to put the action button so the action button is very useful especially if you want to make some sort of animation so i'm going to spell it animate and then put start animation and then i'm going to specify the animation start with the max t this is our variable and then i'm going to hit ok so this is the animation it will be animated like that and it will continuously from 
uh, increasing and decreasing. However, I will change the position here under the object uh, um, objective. I'm going to make it as increase and I'm going to off it for a while and then I'm going to make another button. Okay, I'm going to make another button here. Okay, this one I call a stop button. So the stop button, same also, start animation, but you tell the computer is false. Okay, and then it will become a stop button. And the last but not least is the reset button. You need to do is actually you need to um, put the reset button. So how to do that? You can just request for button here and then put. And then right here as reset, reset. And then the specific uh, script will be max t it's equal to zero so that's mean um, everything inside the max t will be reset back to zero that's mean we can start the simulation again so after you so um, after you finish all this thing then uh, we have to publish our data so before that please do save your um, do save your project and then we are going to make some sort of uh, publication in the exporting as a HTML. So after you um, finish up all this um, protocol, actually you can publish your applets or you can publish this SIR model straight away. So to do that, you can just save your GeoGebra file first. And after that, go to the file, export it into the HTML file. So I'm going to spell it as SIR model final. And I'm going to put it as test and then I put some instruction. Okay, instruction. So I'm just upload it inside my GeoGebra account. So if you did not have any GeoGebra account, so you can uh, create once GeoGebra account. And then uh, this is my GeoGebra account. So it has become an applet already that are very useful for the students or for the people to understand about the SIR model. Um, that is the um, susceptible infections and recovery or remove models. Okay, it's very useful into the epidemiological model. So if you want to um, know about the interpretations about this transmission coefficients and also recovery coefficient, uh, you can um, let me know in the comment below and I shall uh, explain it in the next video. So with that, please link to the below down there if you want to access to my SIR model final and perhaps you can learn something from this exercise. See you again and uh, see you again next time guys. Bye bye.